Hey, what's up guys? So recently we've had a mega ton of information come out for Shadow of War with IGN's exclusive videos and the developer streams on Twitch. So here's some information which I thought you guys should know. Let's go. In game there will be 5 types of gear which are the sword, dagger, armor, cloak and runes for the ring of power. The ring of power will control the wraith abilities as well as focus skills in Shadow of War and have multiple power sets within the game depending on the runes you have engraved. Unlike other gear there won't be loads of rings to find as it is the runes that bring the change to the ring's abilities but a developer did mention there may be another ring of power that we will get to use within the game so my guess is this will be a part of the main story arc. Moving on, ranged weapons will include Celebrimbor's bow and hammer which can be switched within the midst of a fight using the gear menu but it seems only one can be equipped at a time. All ranged weapons will use elf shot which is the ammo type used for Celebrimbor's bow. Also ranged weapons can have fire and poison applied to them. As for gear strength there will be high level gear, rare gear, epic gear and legendary gear. Now epic gear will have challenges associated with it that if you complete will unlock bonus upgrades, stats and effects for your epic gear. Legendary gear will have sets that you have to discover and earn throughout the world and when equipping all different pieces of the gear from the same legendary set it will give you powerful overall bonuses, abilities and stats. So an example for a legendary set will be a dwarven sword, dwarven dagger, dwarven armor and dwarven cloak and a dwarven rune for the ring of power. Now that my friend is a lot of dwarven. Moving on, all gear sets will have 4 visual levels to them meaning the looks of the gear will have 4 variations of what they look like as you upgrade each piece of gear. And we will also be able to change the tints of the gear giving them a slight realistic variation in colour. Mirian will be the main currency within Shadow of War that can be used to upgrade weapons and gear as well as buying followers to some extent. One thing I find cool is that Monolith are trying to encourage the changing of gear depending on the situation rather than having one gear set that is OP and can protect you from everything. So by doing this it will result in an encouragement of maintaining different loadouts as you play. Now cloaks within the game will be made from different types of materials and some will have hoods, helmets as well as others having unique headgear depending on the cloak type. So when in stealth mode you can summon your orc followers or a caragor to command them into strategically killing your enemies while you yourself remain hidden. I personally think it would be cool if they gave us the cloak that Frodo had that allowed him to camouflage himself as a rock. While dwarves and elves are not yet confirmed to be within the game, elven and dwarven gear such as cloaks and armour will be, which gives me hope that they will be present within the world of Shadow of War. Also on a quick note, there will be a Nazgul armour set and now since gear is dropped from killing enemies this basically tells us it is highly likely that at some point within the game we may get to kill a Nazgul. So the way you kill an enemy in Shadow of War can affect the type of gear that is dropped, so for instance if you stealth kill an enemy the chances of a dagger drop increases, as well as the stats on the gear drop being stealth related which is also affected by other variables such as the orc himself. Shadow of War will also have a difficulty setting for you hardcore and not so hardcore players out there. Last but not least, in a previous video I talked briefly about how I believe the Urukai will be in Shadow of War and may take the tribe name of Berserker. Now recently IGN released some images and two of them showed an area pretty similar to that of where we saw Saruman create the Urukai within the Lords of the Rings movie. So for me personally these images give me the vibe that is highly likely that we will see them within the game. But anyway guys, this is all the information I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, stay tuned for future Shadow of War content and thank you for watching.